This configuration is known as a summing amplifier. We're going to find that uh, it takes its name from the fact that the output voltage is going to equal a scaled version of the sum of V1 and V2. To analyze this, we're going to do as we always have, and that is write a node equation at the inverting terminal. Once again, we have the virtual short here that tells us that V sub n is equal to V sub p, and again, in this case, the uh, non-inverting terminal is tied to ground. So V sub n is going to equal 0. But, we'll, again, we'll leave V sub n in there to uh, see what's happening, and then as we move along, we'll replace V sub n with 0. So, let's sum the currents here at this terminal. Notice that we now have three branches. One, two, three branches connected to the node, in addition to this branch here coming to the inverting terminal, which is still, once again, going to have no current going in there. So, let's write the equations here, or the equation here. The current leaving V sub n going in this path is going to be V sub n minus V1 divided by R1 plus the current leaving this node going in this direction is going to be V sub n minus V2 divided by R2 plus the current in the feedback loop, which is going to be V sub n minus V out divided by R sub f. As I already mentioned, there's no current going into the, op into the amplifier itself. Therefore, the sum of those three terms equals 0. Again, noting that V sub n equals 0 in each of these. We have then negative V1 over R1 plus negative V2 over R2 equals V out over R sub F. Now, if we multiply both sides of the equation by R sub F and factor out this, uh, this minus sign that's there, we're going to have then that V out is equal to negative R sub F over R1 times V1, let's put a bracket around here, plus R sub F over R2 times V2. That's supposed to be a plus sign there. And as advertised, the output then is the sum of the two input voltages scaled by the ratios of the feedback resistance to either R1 in the case of V1 or the re feedback resistor divided by R2 for, um, for the uh, second input voltage. Now, it ought to be pretty obvious that if we want the scaling factor to be the same, we simply make R1 equal R2. And under those circumstances, the output voltage then would be negative R sub F over, I call it R1 or call it R2 or just, I guess, uh, let's just be specific here. Let's say R1 equals R2 equals R sub S. So our gain term then would be R sub F over R sub S times V1 plus V2. So we have the minus sign. Again, there is an inverted output due to the fact that these two sources are connected to the inverting terminal. With R1 equaling R2, both are amplified by the same amount, and we end up with a scaled version of the sum of those two. If we don't want any gain out of it, we simply make R sub F equal R1 equal R2, and then the output voltage would be just V1 plus V2.